So, like, what I've noticed is that his shoes have wings, obviously meant to be, like, the, uh, because they hover type thing, uh, and that, but, but it seems to be very much a, 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 a trend to sort of go with any shoes that sort of allow you to fly or hover or speed or something. It's like, ah, we'll just put wings on them. Yeah, we'll just put some, like, yeah. Pegasus wings, you know, yeah. sort of thing. What's the name of that Greek what? dude, What Goes Fast? Uh... What's his name again? <laughs> uh, I'll go blank. I know, I'm trying to blank too, and I played Hades recently. Um, God, what is he? He's a little... Oh, Hades is a good game. Oh, you know what? Everyone, oh. tell, if you are watching this and you want us to play Hades, tell us. Uh, I do have it. Yeah, and, Hades uh, is We good. can go through it. Um, Ricky's actually finished it. Um, I, I played through it. He, uh, I think he may have been better at the game than me. Uh, but uh, that means that it'll be more entertaining for me to play it. <laughs> for everyone to watch <laughs> me play it. Oh, God, so, yeah, no! If you want to watch us uh, play uh, Hades, uh, just let us know. Uh, yeah, Hades is uh, really good. I, I, well, I mean, I can't really say I beat it. I got to the, you know, I, I beat Hades once. But as far as I understand for that game, you've got to do it multiple times to get the real ending, you know? But, uh, okay. Yeah, because obviously it's one of those games that, you know, you, you sort of keep playing through. I'm pretty sure you're mm. going to you got to pull it off multiple times to get a, the real ending or something. But I was playing it on Game Pass, and uh, they removed it, like, the day that I achieved it. Yeah. So good enough. Oh, you still got to you still got to fight Hades and, and, and win. I haven't yep. reached that point yet, so, you know. I beat Hades. Uh, but Hermes. Hermes is the, uh, is the god Hermes. Uh, we were thinking of. Um, which I always find funny because, like, he's actually one of the main gods, uh, and he is actually... Um, like he's a, the god, messenger of the gods, but he's also like um, of a god of like travel and, and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, but in what well, I always find funny is that like in the Hercules animated movie from Disney, which is a great movie. Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah. He he seems so much more like just like this a, a, like assistant to Zeus. Like he doesn't seem like he's that important, but he's actually one of the yeah, major he, gods. He's just running letters. <laughs> well, he's yeah, one he's of the. <laughs> Well, that's it, because, I mean, I guess in day-to-day -day tasks for Hermes, he, he does seem, like, underutilised, you know? So it's like, oh, yeah, I need you to deliver this letter to Mount Olympus, like, super quick or whatever. Yeah, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. But if you think about fighting the dude, and he's moving at, like, I don't know, speed of light or whatever, he'd mess you up, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't be able to re even react. Yeah, no, he's, like, he's insanely fast and... Um... Yeah, and that makes you insanely powerful. Oh yeah, so like emissary of the gods, and that. So like yeah, as I said, like he is he is still considered like one of the top three. But um, I just always loved seeing him as in the in the uh, animated movie of Hercules, where he's just yeah, he just seems so much more of <laughs> this guy. It's like yeah, no, I just deliver letters. Here you are. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. I am the godly postman. Yeah. Ah, fire. Okay, so that little thing back there said that I have to use the fan to. Ah, there we go. Find the hidden path. Cool. There we go. So, was it that the fan sort of like pushed you along quicker so that you, you could actually reach it with the boots? Like, uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure you might not be able to make that. I mean, the as I said, the message said to mm. use the secret wind. So, I'm going to guess you can't make it unless you do. <laughs> I like that. Use the secret winds. The winds of mystery. Is it the giant fan? What? No, there's a just giant fan there. There's just a giant fan blowing some <laughs> air. Is it that? No. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to be all practical about the matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just like a Fujitsu <laughs> written on the I'm side. I'm just in an evil secret dungeon. I'm kind of going for a bit of mystique here. Yeah. I mean, but yes, if you want to know, use the giant fucking Dyson out there, all right? Yeah. <laughs> like, can't have any fun anymore with you fucking heroes of time. <laughs> like, I just love the, the idea of, like, <laughs> like... Wait for the mystical winds, and then you, and then like nothing happens. He just leans over, and you see this, and then <laughs> the fan turns on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got it on oscillate. I just have to. Where is it? Oh, it's one of those little pull things at the top. Let me just get that. Just give me a second. <laughs> just give me a second. There we go. There we go. It's quite good actually. I've got a Bunnings for seven ninety nine. Oh, I don't have a key. Oh, okay. This is. 
Ooh, this isn't good. Um, Wait, that, oh, okay. I thought that chest would have given us a key, but no. No, it gave us that's, five. That's kind of annoying. Like, it's like you get to the chest and you're like, ah, yes, that door needs a key. This will clearly do it. Open chest, no key. <laughs> no key. Like, uh, All right, this is this is where I'm gonna ah, I'm gonna show my. Ah. Oh no, you, you can't make it because I just made that. Oh, okay. Um, not not as easily as uh, if you use the wind going back though, because like no. you have to grab the edge there. Whereas before, with the with the help of the fans, we sort of just got to the other side with no problem. So is this it? Huh. Oh no, I don't have a key. I have is missed that... a key. That is not good. Um, wait, wait, please. can we? Can we? Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, no, no, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 that was just bad. That was just bad time. Okay. We just wanted to show you viewers what would happen oh. if you're not careful. Oh, it's put me here again. Okay. So we're missing a key. You know what? We might have to refer to our map. As sad okay, as, so as where, sad as wait, that where is. are we on the map? We're here. Okay. The glowing bit? Uh, yeah, we should be in the glowing bit that it's showing. Um, let's see. Well, there's a chest. There's, is that saying there's a chest right there that we haven't opened? Would that not be the chest along this blowy bit? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's, I know I know what you mean, but like... Uh, let's see. Let's see where that... I am on the map. Here I am. Okay, so squiggly line, box, little knobbly bit. All right, squiggly line, box. Yep, yep, Wait. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, no, so, so that chest is... Is that not where we... I'm going to peek in here just in case, and if there isn't, we'll, we'll figure out what to do. I don't know, maybe I'm look not... up. Yeah, I there's just... another thing we can grapple on. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. And we've opened that chest, but it seems to be saying there's a chest here. Okay, what about this? Can we like drop a bomb in this? What's going on here? Is that not like it's when in here. doubt, blow everything up? Yeah, that's it. Just just bomb some shit. You know, that's that's how you get things done. You get to change a government. You know. Oh, here we go. Yes! <laughs> we are right. geniuses. You know what? <laughs> this dungeon is making us go back on everything we've said so far in this game. We basically <laughs> said we never use the map because there's no use to it, and it just yeah. literally helped us there because we, I wouldn't have thought to blow that thing up. I know, like, we, we very, like, one of the first times we've ever really looked at the map. I, I know. Think since, since probably the first game. <laughs> Exactly. We. This is like one of the only times we've needed the map. In the Water Temple, it was handy um, to know which wings you've sort of been down to try and keep track, though I sort of struggled with that anyway. But in here, it actually just saved us. I was about to go double back and run around mm. probably aimlessly for ages when the key was in the room right next to us. It's also nice to know we can blow those bits up. I've actually seen a couple of those things and never blown them up, so mm. interesting to know. Sounds like a sculpture as well. I might grab that real quick. But uh, yeah, you know, we've had to use a potion when we said potions aren't necessary. Um, <laughs> we've had to use the map when we talk about the fact we never use the map. Um, most of the time you can get away with it, but I'd, I'd almost say that that kind of is necessary there unless you know. Yeah, I mean, unless you just, unless you just happen to like see it and think, oh, maybe I should bomb it, you know? Um, uh, I can hear what a skull tour, was but I can't Yeah, with the, did we go with the skull tour. Did we end up going back and, like, getting the next upgrade? Or no, we were one off. We were one, one off, off. Uh, which is okay, why I was I think, yeah. hopeful to grab that, but I can't see it unless it's... No, I thought oh, we had, I thought we, uh, had uh, it now. I thought we actually had... The... Oh, did we grab one more? Oh. If we did, oh, I forgot yeah, to go and check. check. Uh, yeah, I thought yeah, we managed yeah, to get look. it. You are right. Yeah, ah, we did. Well, All did, right, if cool. we got it in this dungeon, it's because we haven't been back in Kakariko yet. Yeah, I mean, it's very cool. Um, ooh, I vaguely remember this. Actually, do I want these hover boots? These might be a bit of a pain here. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm going to guess I need to play Zelda's Lullaby, which I like that it's like a secret song, yet apparently a million and one people know about it. <laughs> they put these markers down for you to play it. I mean, when the place was built, everyone knew about it, but... True. I guess this is like a, as it said, you know, like a, um... 
a home for all of Hyrule's ha- hatred and greed. Yeah, one of the one of the hatred and greed must have been. Sort of <laughs> Look at him bob along. We're offering some Willy Wonka shit right now. Hey, this is really smooth sailing, is it? No. <laughs> oh, you fool! You brought a brought a rusty dagger to a great sword fight. <laughs> Can I smack you off the edge, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh. Behind you. There we go. Cool. I'm just going to get you with a spam attack, man. Don't even need to worry about timing. I mean, I'll say, like, in, in real life, board and sword, you know, shield and sword and that, really effective, really good. Oh, yeah. But <clears throat> I'm not sure about you, but in, in games, I usually prefer to go, like, two-handed swords or something um, myself because I like the, like, the two-hand two and, like, the, the big power attacks the you get. And, like, they can usually, like, go through blocks and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, the ship is sinking. Abandoned ship. Oh. Oh, do I need my hover boots, actually? Maybe I was wrong about this. Let's just pop these suckers on real quick. Where am I going? Am I going over here? Oh, no, I died. That gave me next to no time in the world. Ah, oh, they made me just come all the way back here. What the... F okay, all right. Well, we'll do this boat trip again, and then we'll come back. Okay. Well, I'll probably just... Right. I'll probably just get off it a bit earlier. Yeah, just see if we can jump it, yeah. <laughs> There, uh, we there we go. There we go. We're off. But no, right. like, yeah, I prefer having um uh, like the two-handed swords and like the big weapons and that because it's fun. But uh, like in practical terms, a shield is like a safer option. Shield um, and a spear. Yeah. Shield and a spear d deals with like ninety-nine percent of everything. The one thing I will say about a spear though is that uh it, you have to make sure it's not too long of a spear because you want to still have that control on that. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, you of know. course, it's like a Shaka Zulu. Yeah, you know yeah, Zulu. Exactly. So like he, he, they were good because rather than doing the old um, long, longer spear where they just chuck it at each other because that's like how the fights mm. used to go down. They used to sort of stand a bit apart and chuck spears and see if anybody cracked the other person. It's almost a lot of, lot of posturing in, in ways mm. rather than fighting. And then he was like, oh, hell no, how about we snap these things in half and we just literally get in their face and shank them, you know? Yep. No, so, no, yeah, no, definitely. Like, you, can see, you can see when it comes to, like, the uh, hoplite and that, and, like, ancient Greeks, they yeah, have like, rather yeah. long spears. And it's very effective against cavalry and, it's, and, it, and it is effective if you want to sort of... <gasps> If you have that formation and the enemy does it and they're just charging you and you just like have the have the spears there and, and hit them. But the problem is that after like one or two uses, um, if they get past the spear or you know it gets stuck on something, it's very hard, wieldy. So that's sort of like yeah, why that's why they had a sword on the hip, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh so that's god, why these that guys sort of kill me. Eventually, um, uh, oh no! Oh. oh, first death in a long, long time. Not the type of hand job we wanted. No, definitely not. <laughs> and there's two of them. I better not get charged up with the right. <laughs> oh, no, they're growing. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how uh, it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh that's right. You got the spin thing. Oh, maybe, my God. Maybe, the spin, maybe using the spin more if you can. I, I tried that... to. I tried to before, yeah. but it just... Oh, my God. These, oh, guys, these guys are actually so kicking my ass. Oh, my God. Um... I'm actually getting maybe my we ass get the, maybe, in. maybe get the magic out, maybe? Just like five on the wall? I don't know if oh, that would. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's a bloody good idea, Aaron. Come on, you little fucks. Oh, <laughs> one guy hid behind the pillar. I know, he did. He was clever. Good thinking. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, definitely. Um, the thing is, a lot of times, especially if there's a bunch of you, them getting on the inside, you know what I mean, isn't uh, is it as likely, you know what I mean, when they've got yeah. like 10 people yeah. in a line against their line jabbing at them. Spears were like no, exactly. really, but really that's, powerful. That's why you sort of saw the progression from the hoplite to the Roman legionary, because the Romans still had spears. Um, uh, but most of the time uh, they were like more like javelins. So you, yes. um, uh, yeah, and they yeah, were designed. Yeah. They were designed to like throw, kill, and then go the sword. Like, but um, I mean, just going back to what you're saying though. But when it comes to games, yep. I usually prefer to like make it difficult for myself. Like I've been playing a little bit of uh, Chivalry Two, 
Um, yep. Cause it just got added to game pass. <laughs> and um, I played a lot of Shivery one and uh, yeah, I've been playing two. Oh, crust. I guess this is the downside of not having the shield. I can't really do a whole lot here. Okay. Okay, this is some bullshit. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. again. I might need the shield for these guys. <laughs> well, what a perfect time to use the shield when we're talking about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, actually, yeah, I might need the shield here. Because cause this, is, this is getting the better of me. 100%. Apparently, when he's got the shield on, Link is um, left-handed. Why can't I use? Why can't I use this? Oh, you can't block there. Uh, what? That is some bullshit. Ah, oh, that's some crap. What kind of crappy shield is this? <laughs> Come on. Well, he can block the big one. Oh, God. Oh, these hair things are actually like one of the most difficult enemies we've ever come across. And it makes it really hard to talk. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of <laughs> Chivalry too. And, um, you know, in Chivalry, you probably want to, as a lot of people do, get yourself a nice big two-hander and an armored up class. And what most people do is they just run in and spam, you know, and yeah. they just try and do big cleaves, hit as many people as they can. And honestly, that is the easier way to play. Um, no offense to anyone who does it, but it is the easier way to play. But I don't like that. I go in there as the basic footman with no shield and just a single one-handed sword. Because then if mm -hmm. I can step around them, if I can step around them, parry them, and basically just kick the crap out of them with just a little sword, I feel like it's like way more demeaning to them, you know? <laughs> like to get their ass kicked by like just a one a guy with a one headed sword. Like it's especially you also uh, feel like a real hero when you go in against like three people and you beat them all. Yeah, <laughs> I remember playing the first one and I came across a guy that obviously worked his way up to like knight and had, yeah, as you said, like the two hand weapon full thing. And I was just like, I was just the basic soldier with like a club, and I, yeah. and I just kicked it. I beat him down because <laughs> I kept, just kept dodging, like managing to dodge. And yeah, I'm that's just it. like, yes! <laughs> well, it's the beauty because a lot of players, especially when they're newer, and it's fair enough. Yeah, they go in there and they just get the they just get the big two-hander, you know, they choose the Vanguard or whatever it's called. They get themselves a nice big two-hander and they start swinging and they start killing things. And they're like, well, you know, I'm I'm hot shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm smashing everybody. Oh, God. And they think they're really good. And then you get in their face and you dodge around their block and you stab them and stuff. And you can just see their mind boggling. Like they don't know what to do. They're so <laughs> confused. Now all of a sudden it's like, oh God, well, we're not just going to stand here and click at each other? What the fuck? <laughs> there are other buttons. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, what, like what? It, it is, don't get me wrong, it is definitely fun. I mean, if, if you guys, as I said, like, I really like playing two hand weapons and, and big weapons and that because it is fun. Uh, especially in games where you're like, you, you're cleaving through enemies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it definitely is uh, fun. Yeah. But yeah, like in real life, like uh, if more realistic games and stuff like that, like when it comes to big weapons, they have an advantage of being bigger, uh, having like a oh God. more a higher chance of hitting once and that. I'm not sure. Are we missed to jump here or something. Uh, do I burn Am it? I I'm going to... What? Oh, I guess I can't... Oh, I can't use fire because I already have the mirror out. I mean, it's wood, so I'm going to try. Okay, thank God. Oh, cool. It didn't that... just set it on fire and make it come towards us even more. That actually worked. Oh, no. Okay. I made it worse. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. But... Yeah? In, like, real life, uh, when you're using big weapons, obviously, if that weapon is, is, is hitting something... It, it, it's not like it's going to keep going through like multiple no, people. No, you need a lot like, of strength. Especially if, especially if someone's wearing armor. It's like, oh yeah, you managed to cut into that guy that had armor with your two-hand weapon. Fair enough. But that's not going to go through them and then through the second guy and, and no, shit. Like, it's the, not. Like the, <laughs> so that's where like, yeah, uh, like sword, uh, where, where sword and shields and, and things like that come into it a bit, a bit more. And hammers. The, yeah, the, and hammers. The, the hammers like and um, the hammers with the... Uh, 
the little point at the end, um, mm-hmm. they're a big deal for dealing with um, plate because you're likely not going to cut through it. Like, you probably can, but it's mm-hmm. going to get stopped by the mail and all the boiled leather and stuff. Um, so you want blunt force so that if you smash them with enough, it's still going to transfer enough energy that it likely breaks a rib, you know, maybe it ruptures an organ or something. Um, that's more what you're after. Yeah. And, and that's no, where they're if, good. And picks through the um, through the, the helmet. It can yeah, just stab if, right if through. If we're talking about, yeah, if we're talking about, like, full-on armor, like plate armor and that during, like, the um, middle to late medieval period and stuff like that, then uh, the swords that knights are using that, they're not really to be used against other knights as such. Like, you, you, you will use them. But you'll also find nice using, as you said, hammers and stuff like that because the plate is very difficult to get through. Yeah, um, that's and it. And if you are using the sword, more often than not, the swords usually uh, end up more as a club on the on the enemy's exactly. head. Exactly. And yeah. like just banging them around until they surrender. Because uh, you know, obviously, when it comes to noblemen and that, uh, you want them to surrender because you can get their shit and uh, sell them off for money. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, no necessarily. Uh, but yeah, kill them. when. As a killing weapon, the sword's far more useful against um, less armoured opponents. Exactly, So up yeah. until the middle and late medieval period, swords obviously played a, a much bigger role in, in killing um, and that because armour wasn't as advanced. Um, and that's one thing I, I, I have to... I think we've probably said it before on a, another episode somewhere <laughs> on our channel, but that's always the funny thing when you watch movies and that, and someone's like got armour on and someone goes, ha with their sword and just kills them in one strike. Yeah. It's like, What's the point of the armor? Like, that's not how it works. It's also like, how that's strong like, is this dude? Yeah, like, exactly. It's like one slice does not just c- go through that. Like he, he's got chainmail and you know, uh, you know a gabison and all that sort of stuff. And you cut, you just cut him once. And he's like, oh no, I'm down to the ground now. No, like, I'm dead suddenly. No. Ooh, it's worse when they've got full. When they've got like, you know. Um, split mail or plate mail or something like that where it's even even tougher and they still just like manage to kill them with one slice so yeah what, that's what it sort of, what have you got a lightsaber or something I know you'd have to be hitting very precisely in the um, the weak spots you know like under the yeah, arm exactly. uh, along the side and towards the neck but even then they wore those huge chain mail um, mm. coif or whatever they're called over their neck yeah, the and it's literally and to deflect yeah. you know exactly. so you it's see like, you can see a lot of um, breast breastplates and that that uh, were designed or, or cuirass, um, whichever version you want to call it. Uh, they'll have neck guards like on the front and stuff, uh, and they'll be angled in a way so that um, uh, the neck guard is designed so that uh, the sword doesn't hit and manage to go up and sort of protect the um, neck. But it's also designed that so that if if arrows hit your your um, breastplate. Uh, the arrow is le- very un- unless it's like a crossbow, it's very unlikely to go through your armor. But what is likely is it to shatter and shrapnel get to you. And so they'll mm. usually have them angled or, or with neck protectors and stuff like that, so that you don't end up getting like sh- shrapnel in your ch- in your throat or something. But yeah, no, it's a it, movie. Movie uh, Hollywood definitely makes uh, a lot of the, uh, especially like when you see some of the armors, it's like, wow, that looks really good, like. Uh, they've really put really a lot of effort into that, and some guy just comes along and one hits them. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, why did you even bother wearing it? <laughs> yeah, no, there's. I think there's there's a movie called. Oh shit! I've never actually watched. I've seen scenes from it, but it's called like uh, the Jewelist, I think it is, or something. And that's a far more real representation, though. Obviously, it's not like medieval or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, they're unarmored. They're using more like rapiers and um, it's slow, you know, it's slow, methodical. And it's more like, you know, you nip them on the hand, you know, Mm -hmm. and you've done a lot of damage. Now, a quick cut across the chest sort of thing. You know, it's a slow, slow, very slow, methodical duel. And it's just about trying to just land that little, where fencing is probably more of a real representation. You know what I mean? Like, Mm. because it's more like fencing. Ah, this, I thought I went in this room, but I didn't. Um... But we've been blabbing about swords for a bit. I think this is probably a pretty good place to live for this episode. Yes. Uh, hopefully, people have sort of managed to follow along with both the conversation <laughs> and the gameplay. <laughs> uh, but we'll uh, le- leave this on a cliffhanger, I think, with these scary skulls for yeah, next we'll time. Uh, but yeah, leave it, uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you happen to uh, 
have an opinion yourself on what you you prefer to use in games or uh, what you'd like to use in real life in the way of the we weapons as well, put it in the comment below. Otherwise, this has been To Be Continued. We'll see you in the next one.